Hi Scorpio! Welcome to my channel. I'm Karma and this is Karma Light Readings. If you are new, please make sure you subscribe below and like this video. If you are returning, thank you so, so much for supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. This is Scorpio Reading for August 2019. Um, I have a link to my Etsy page below. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, please check it out. Also, there's links to my Instagram and my Facebook, and I'd love for you to join me on social media. All right, Scorpio, let's get into this, August 2019. Okay, so the first message we have, Scorpio, is time to go. There is a situation that it's time to go, and I think you know this. I think that you know it's time for you to go. Um, and they're saying, listen, so they really want you to get this message through your head. They're saying, listen to us, it's time to go. Um, and I think you know that, Scorpio. You might be hesitating a little bit um, just because you're like, wait a minute, I just got here. I think that this is kind of a fairly new situation. Doesn't mean it's a love relationship. I, I don't know as I haven't um, gotten any more specific uh, uh, answers yet I'm just doing the two cards right now but there is a situation and they want you to understand that just see the beauty of what you got to experience um, I think that you learned something in this situation I think that it was very valuable for you uh, whether you've realized that yet or not you you will is what I'm hearing um, and understand that endings are merely the start of brand new beginnings and when spirit is telling you or pushing your soul to leave I think we've all had that feeling that little nudge where we know I really shouldn't be involved in this anymore or this just isn't um, in alignment with who I am but then we don't listen to it um, spirit is saying please because the reason why we're telling you to go is because we actually have something bigger and better for you but you can't get to it until you exit this situation. That's the trick, right? Um, but they really need you to take the time to listen. So Scorpios, um, you guys are water signs, so I know you're real good at kind of going with the flow. Take some time to yourself, quiet your mind, and really open it up so that you are in receiving mode, okay? Um, because they're, they're saying that a quiet mind and body can hear us more quickly and clearly and their number one request right now is please listen to what we're saying and what I mean by that let me go a step further for some of you that means quiet your ego your mind okay it's one thing to question something when you get it like hmm, that's very interesting I wonder is that from me or is that from spirit that's normal it's another thing to get something and totally be negative. There's no way that's from spirit. There's no way. That, that's not real. That can't be what it is. Why would they tell me to do that? That's the part that you need to quiet down while you're trying to listen. Just open your mind and accept everything that you receive, and then you'll be able to kind of channel and decipher what is meant for you, okay? So let's get some more clarity about this situation where it's time to go for Scorpio. Okay, let's see. They really want you to listen to them. Like, really. Trustworthy guidance. So your guides are saying, please trust what we're saying. Are you doubting me right now, Scorpio, while I'm talking to you? Is that what it is? Just kidding. But, um, no, seriously. Spirit is saying, please know. They're basically telling you what I just said. They're saying, please know that these wonderful ideas or these thoughts that are coming into your mind they're from us okay they're from us and, and it's very real okay i mean it's very trustworthy and they want you to know that you're in a safe place to move forward um know that they are with you every step of the way and they're asking you to listen and to ask to be more open to receiving um, their support about anything related to this idea or this situation or anything in the future but they want you to know that yes they are the ones guiding you and giving you this answer this is why you need to go this is why you have to leave whatever situation you're in because you have a new partner coming into your life and Scorpio this new partner 
is not a mistake. They are supposed to be here. Um, this is divinely orchestrated and they want you to be able to let go of where you are so that you can catapult into this because what I'm feeling is this is something that it this is going to be setting the wheels in motion for the manifestation of the prayers that you've been praying is pretty much what I'm hearing. Um, so they're telling you to pay careful attention to people that are coming into your life. This doesn't mean that it's a brand new, brand spanking new person. I'm literally feeling, you know, you're going to recognize them by the sense of familiarity and the comfort and the safety. I think that this person is going to make you feel very, very safe, okay? I'm actually getting the feeling, I have, there's, I have a person, um, or have had a person in my life that makes me feel that, and I'm getting that feeling right now from my head to my toes. It's a very warm um, sensation where you just know, like, okay, I'm, I'm okay. Um, and their spirit is letting you know to please trust this. Um, but in order to get to this, you have to leave that situation and know that it's ending because something new is beginning. This person who's coming to you or will be coming back into your life is a part of a prayer that you have been, been praying or a manifestation that you have been trying to manifest. There is going to be a deep connection to this person and they're specifically coming to help you or guide you with with something, but I think you already know that. You're just leery on whether or not that's true and if it's coming from spirit. But see, see how these cards fly out? I can't make this up. Think. So, if you're leery on if it's coming from spirit or not, Scorpio, they're saying ask. Okay? So, universal law. Universal law is quite simple. We were given free will. It's my belief that we were given free will so that God could weed out the dark and the light, meaning that we can come down here and really choose and decide where we want to go and where do we belong. Do I belong to the dark light or do I belong to the white light? Um, and that's kind of how source, God, whatever you want to call him, um, weeds us out. So because we were given free will, the Holy Spirit, God, whatever you want to call him, he, he can't help us in a situation unless we specifically ask him to because he needs to know and spirit needs to know that we're talking to them and we're not talking to the other if that makes sense so it's very important to ask specifically for what you need and to who, whom you are asking um, and spirit is saying please ask us to help you in this situation okay well, as soon as you ask them they're like waiting for you they're like oh please ask me but that's their job and they want to guide you okay but they need you to take the first step we don't get to be lazy here um they need you to take that action and they're saying that you know we'll immediately go to work on on your behalf and we'll, we will start helping you and and guiding you and 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 helping you to make your own choices and and decide will not help you to make your own own choices and decisions but will lead you um on the better path that will guide you with those decisions, a car excel. Okay, so let's see what else they have. Spirit, can we get a few more for August 2019 for Scorpio? They really want you, Scorpio, wow, to find the joy in life again. I'm not saying that you don't have joy right now but um they're asking you to come from that place you know that feeling when you just know everything is going right and you're really really excited and exuberant and happy and nothing can keep you down they want you to be in that feeling 24 7. now i know you can't do that it's very hard um however they want you to know that when you view a situation from that space okay and from that vibration and that energy that it allows you to attract and create not only your present moments but your future moments at the most highest level possible because joy is the highest level okay and so they're asking you to kind of stay in that energy um, but I'm also getting cleanse and detoxify 
Okay, I know my light's kind of right there. Cleanse and detoxify. So let's go back to your very first card, time to go. Cleanse and detoxify. There is, it could be a person, it could be a thing, and it could be a situation. But there is some toxicity somewhere in your life. Person, situation, thing. What's a thing? What's a toxic thing? Drugs, alcohol, addiction, abuse. Um, it could even be as simple as the food you eat. Are you a junk food aholic? I am sometimes. So it's just letting you know that there's something in your life that really needs to be removed, toxicity. Now, it could be something as simple as junk food. I don't think it is right now. That's not what I'm feeling. I am I am literally seeing a, a person, um, and then I'm seeing the word situation next to it. Um, and so I don't, I cannot tell if this person is a male or female. And that's because I'm doing such a broad um, general reading right now for all Scorpios. So they're just kind of giving me a human body and they're putting situation next to it. So this is letting me know that there could be a person involved, but this is pertaining to a specific situation, probably with another person, okay? Doesn't mean that it's romantic, could be business, however, friend, family even. You'll know where it um, relates to. But it needs to be detoxified, it needs to be cleansed, it needs to be cleared from your um, vibration. Let's get one more message from the angel cards and then we're gonna move in to another deck here. Spirit Queen, one more message. Acceptance. So overall, Spirit really just wants you to accept the situation for what it is. Even, you know, it's time to go. Did you learn something? This is how it is. This is the situation that I'm in and I'm okay with it. What did I learn from it and what can I take from it? That's what I'm really hearing. They want you to see everybody through the eyes of spirit. We're all here to learn, okay? Um, and they, they want you to inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. And to do that, you just accept the situation for what it is and say, hey, you know, no hard feelings. This is just what it is and that's okay. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to do that or, or find a place for that in this situation. Let's move into Work Your Light Oracle and then we'll do Tarot before we close out. Spirit, what do we have for Scorpio, August 2019? So Spirit is... Mm. Spirit is asking you to do something to shift your vibration. You are off alignment right now, okay? Um, and they're saying no. So there's something else that you want to do, and I, I, I'm, I'm seeing the same person and the same situation word right now in my mind when I see this card. Um, and they're saying no, like say no, postpone. Um, and I'm seeing that same person in the same word. So I do, I am relaying this to that, where they're saying no. Um, so time to go and no, like they want you to stop it, postpone it, put a halt on it, but spirit is just literally flat out saying no. Okay, so take that how that resonates. They're saying dance doesn't specifically mean dance, it's just how they worded this card. It really is talking about um, shifting your vibration so that you're back in alignment. I feel like some of you Scorpios are kind of in the darkness of your water right now. You've kind of, you're not up at the top, you're not in the shallow end. I think that you guys went way out in your water and you are deep swimming. Um, I'm seeing a lot of darkness, I'm not seeing a lot of light right now. Um, and that's why they want you to do something to shift your vibration. What sings to you, Scorpio? What brings you a lot of happiness and makes you feel like you're on your path? Is it being more responsible? Is it going outside? Is it what can you do to get yourself out of this um, rut? Is not the word that I'm looking for. To, to get you out of this deep end, you know, and to get back up to that that happy end where you're not like really trying to get out where you can just kind of relax and, and flow and float in your water. 
Okay, so let's get a few more cards from Work Your Light for Scorpio, August 2019. There we go, there's one. So Scorpio, some of you are wondering, where do I belong? Where do I fit in, okay? I think that you're longing for home. That's what I'm hearing is home, go home. You're wondering, where do I belong? I'm not really fitting in. Um, and for those of you where this resonates, please understand that um, that's just because you are evolving and your vibration is changing and the people and situations around you no longer fit with where you're going. So you're feeling very alone. I think that there are people and, a, and, and things, Scorpio, where you know kind of that's where you need to be going and that's the direction you're heading, but you're not there for some reason. Okay, I'm going to go out on the limb here. Um, some of you who are watching, I think you're very aware of your gifts. I don't think this will relate to anyone. Um, I'm sorry, relate to everyone. So for those of you who, where this resonates, please listen. Um, I think some of you know your light. I think some of you know that you're a light worker. I really don't ever say this in a reading, but I'm getting pushed and pushed. I, I'm literally just seeing light worker, light worker. So understand that a lot of you who are feeling that lack of belonging and longing for home, it's because you have a bigger, higher purpose and calling here. Um, you do have a mission, um, and I'm feeling like it has something to do with light workers. Um, if you're unfamiliar with that term, but it's really like sticking to you right now and you're now interested, please then take this message. I suggest that you research light workers and kind of see where it takes you. Everybody who researches light workers, it will take you to something different, and that's because it's going to take you to where you need to go and what you need to know. Okay, but that was a message. I don't know if that will resonate for everybody, but I was really pushed um, on that. How funny, I, this card has come out two times while I've been talking to you and I keep putting it back in. So it just came out a third time. And it's play. So again, we have do something to shift your vibration and play. Scorpio, you're in the deep end right now and you're not, you're being really, really serious about something and you're like, hmm. And spirit really wants you to get out of that funk, okay? Don't be so serious. They want you to have fun. They want you to liberate yourself, be free, okay? And enjoy life. That's why we're getting this the joy card, too, is because spirit's like, come on, Scorpio, what's going on? Like, be happy. You're here. You're living. You're breathing. Um, let's get into tarot real quick. I'm already at 18 minutes, but I'll make sure that we get um, a good message here. I almost said Scorpio, I need a message for spirit. Spirit, this is for Scorpio, August 2019. Wow, and I just told you the spirit wants you to be free and liberate yourself. So what does it do? It gives me the Virgo card, Hermit, which is for August, and the sun. So listen, it's time to come out of your darkness. I, I think that you, Scorpio, have been really working on yourself. Maybe some of you haven't, been, haven't realized that that's what you're doing, that you're working on yourself, but you are. Um, and what I'm getting here from Spirit is that, and, and, and a lot of you do know that, there's been a lot of inner work going on, a lot of deep thinking, okay? You're really in that deep end, like I said. Um, and you're really trying to find yourself and find what it is, what is my purpose. And this is why we have the longing for home. And you do have a purpose. And they're saying that you're going to come out of that funk in Virgo season, okay, which is August for me. And you're going to be celebrating and, and moving forward and really liberating yourself and feeling that, that freedom. So this is Leo, and then we have Virgo. So I do feel like this is happening in August for you um, this month, that you guys are really going to be like coming out of your your shell okay and i think you're going to be coming to a lot of realizations there was probably some healing that needed to happen probably cleansing and detoxifying okay walking away from that time to go situation 
and liberating yourself, okay? And coming out of this dark funk that you guys uh, have been in, okay? So Spirit, can I have a few more closing messages since I talked so much we didn't get to do a lot of tarot for them? What do we have? Oh, is this not beautiful? This is the card that flipped over. Victory, accomplishment, happiness, taking things to the next level in your life. This is a wands card, okay? So fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Um, could be happening in Leo season, so beginning of August. But this is action. You're going to be taking that step forward and doing something that's very victorious for you, okay? That's going to make you be very happy. You're going to feel very accomplished. And the last message that we have, wow. Okay, acceptance, which we have this here too. Okay, see how there's a light around his head? He's become enlightened, right? He's surrendering. He gets it now. He went and he went he went through this the hermit phase, okay? He went in his darkness searching for his light. Voila, he found it. Okay, Scorpio, this is all that I'm getting from Spirit right now. This is Scorpio's reading for August 2019. I'm Karma, and this is Karma Light Readings. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.